up to December to mid-January. And um, they predict, the astronomers from this observatory, predict that the Earth will be bombarded with small comet dust. Any time from, uh, from uh, middle of December through the middle of January. Now this, they have based on emulations or simulations performed using their supercomputer, which they call Tiger 2, and the proprietary model. They claim that when the comet enters the atmosphere of the sun, the ice will change state abruptly, turning into a propellant, changing the trajectory of the comet, okay? I'm, I'm reading verbatim what they said. They claim that the fragments of this comet will spread in the shape of a cone with a base diameter of 300 kilometers. That's the distance from the Earth to the moon. They claim that the comet, after crossing the sun, will be highly, listen to this, highly fragmented. Fragments ranging from a foot, from the size of a football to the size of a ship, okay? At this time, according to the source, Ison is now at the frost line where the water ice begins to vaporize, okay? Mm. Uh, they say that the propulsion of the ice will change the trajectory of the fragments. And now this is this is what I see may 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 have all these people at NASA and the governments of the world. Uh, I mean, running amok with fear. He, they say that when the ice changes, okay, that when this and um, when the proportion of the ice changes, it will change the trajectory of the fragments, causing a shower of com cometary that will hit the Earth in December, late December, up to middle of January. Comet Ison requires, that, according to them, only a change of two degrees to hit the Earth. They have leaked wow. this in several forums. They have also said that they will speak openly in about a month, I guess that's about November sometime, after the comet passes a calibration point to verify their calculations. They say, that the path of the fragments are very similar to the path the, uh, of coronal mass ejection from the sun. Uh, um, they also mention that, uh, um, and, 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 and they mention a, a, a few things you know, to compare it to. They say that um, 666 years ago, comet Negra, N-E-G-R-A, passed very close to, to the planet Earth in the year 1347. And when that happened, the Black Death took place on the earth. 20 million people died. They also said that um, in the month of December also, uh, in 333 years later, uh, Comet Avignon, uh, no I'm sorry, uh, over the city of Avignon, there appeared another comet causing uh, earthquakes, tempests, thunders, and lightning. And uh, thousands of people were swallowed up. Uh, they say that in France, it stained the rivers red. And then in 1680, there was another great comet which caused the Great Plague of Vienna. Uh, so all these things uh, are coming now from this observatory, which I didn't, I didn't even know existed from Lisbon.